What's going on y'all? It's Max here with my kind of eats here for another noodle tour video. Now today's focus, kind of want to focus around Chinatown and some noodles which, well I know I haven't tried before, or at least most of them I haven't. Kind of the fascinating part about this area is, you know, it's nothing too pretty. It's actually a hard physical labor. You're going to see a lot of maintenance work going on, on bikes, but that's the beauty of it. When you find areas like this, you can bet you're going to find some delicious cheap food. So what we're going to do today is we even got somebody special joining us. We got Tim, my fellow American buddy who's been living here in Saigon. We go around all the time and try to find delicious food. So he's going to be tagging along with us today. So I can't wait to show you these three noodles. Hopefully you haven't seen them before, but no matter what, come with us. Have a good time. We're actually close to the location right now. We're about to meet up with Tim and get the day started. Hope you are excited. Let's head that way. Tim, what's up, brother? How you doing? Good. You hungry? Oh, yeah, definitely. Don't go, don't go. Assembly line going. You got one lady that's in charge of just noodles. You got the man that's taking care of that broth. They're just bubbling. You'll see him scoop it up every now and then. You'll see just every part of the goat is in there slowly cooking down, absorbing that broth flavor. So it is not easy to get in here. We both just squeezed in. They're only serving one thing, those goat noodles. Get in here, get a couple bowls of that, see what's all in it. Week, at least. So I'm looking around and then it does not look like there's a correct way to eat these noodles. You see some people taking their goat meat, dipping in this little satay like sauce. You see some people combining it all in their noodles. I think you just get after it however you want. And look at this, look how thick this is. It almost looks like it has like a little bit of a thickening agent in it. Pay our respects y'all. Nice. It's somehow super light, but still flavor packed. It sits on the palate easily, slides down. It's gonna go perfect with these super slick noodles. Look at these noodles, got all different cuts here. You're gonna get different thicknesses, and I mean, they are just so slippery. It's almost kind of hard to hold on to them. Those noodles are fantastic. They're silky, they're smooth. Almost a little bit buttery, like the way they coat your mouth. Here though, let's stop playing around. Let's get in here and actually try some of this meat and just <laughs> every piece of goat you can imagine. Look at that, huge chunk of meat right here. I think I'm a dip in the sauce guy, which I think that's no surprise to anybody. A little bit chewy, melts in your mouth. The way goat does, it's so oily, it just coats your mouth with all that flavor they've been cooking it in. I see why it's hard to get in here now. Mm. Even those lean rose pieces just melt in your mouth. So soft, so tender. And what's fascinating is they have nothing but the paralia leaf to go with this. This is one of my favorite little additions no matter what you're using for you see it a lot in Korea so having this with a goat it's gonna go beautifully with that goat meat there's a reason they're only got the bravely out here you just don't need anything else that's the perfect addition Hey Trip, this isn't the place to come if you just want all pieces of just tender, fatty goat meat. They're gonna give you everything here. You're gonna have to chew, you're gonna have to work through bones, you're gonna have to spit it on the ground. But in my opinion, that's some of the best eats you can find. Gone. Very delicious. Very good, man. You get out here in District 5, you become part of the community. Everybody's like, how is it? Is it delicious? Dang right it is. Woo! 
enough chili in there to get you the first sweat of the day. My goodness. Now to me, this is the place you want to eat right here. Get in, you eat, you get out. I mean, you're chewing things, you spit them on the ground, you're throwing things on the ground. It's not the most hygienic, but it just describes the way life is in here. You know, it's hardworking, it's fast paced, and it's delicious. All right, and we have made it to the next spot. We are here for the Mi Bit Tian, which is going to be a duck noodle that's been submerged in a Chinese medicinal broth. Now, this place has been open since 1976, and it's probably one of the most famous places you can go for this type of noodle. Not had them here yet, so I'm ready to get in here and see how it compares to all the other places I've tried these noodles. Waiting for Tim to roll up on his bike, and we're going to head in here. Dang, Matt, I thought you had a wreck. <laughs> this bro just got so lost. <laughs> Store front because oh, man, it. I was like, dang, he had a wreck. Oh my gosh. Google map GPS, sometimes it's one block off. Oh like, no. Like, Dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, here we go. Definitely hungry now that uh, it took a while for Tim to get here. And here it is, got the menu here. What they're most famous for right here though, the Mi Bit Tien right here, but they do all kinds of other stuff as well. I tell you what, they're not gonna let you run out of sauce and chopsticks here. They're ready to go. I'm looking around, I was kind of hoping, you know, a little more Chinese influenced restaurant, a little chili oil. I might have to put in a special request. Heavy? Yep. Guys, huge. You can tell Tim and I have eaten a few meals together. We're on like the same wavelength. I'm getting ready to go. He's already got the chili oil on the way out here. I mean, we on that same foodie path. So I can't work in these noodles because there's a big old piece of duck in my way. Look at that. I mean, that's got a little weight to it right there. And I want to take a second to applaud these people for putting the spoon under the noodles. Gonna prop those noodles up, not have them submerge that broth so they're not gonna sit there and get mushy. Key, it's the little things. Brilliant. I tell you, sometimes you eat this dish and it tastes like the medicine your mother gave you when you were little. It's almost got like a little tangerine zest coming from it, the way you get like this citrus, this bitter. Mix it in, get after it. Look at this, got those beautiful shiitake mushrooms in there. Can't tell how much chili oil you put in because that broth is just jet black. Special noodles right there. A little bit al dente where you first kind of snap through them, but then they're nice and soft. I've heard that they're actually making their noodles with a duck egg and a chicken egg as well. But now for the pizza de resistance, this duck. Oh, look at that. Tears off super easily. It's just falling apart. Every bit I kind of grab, it's just actually melting off the bone. Okay. The cooking method's key here. They're gonna quick fry it, and then they're gonna submerge it in this broth and slowly cook it. Took it to it's a nice, soft, tender perfection. Slowly pulling in the flavors from the broth. Oh, that skin. Oh, it's the best piece right there. A little skin, a little of that dark meat. Let's give it some noodles for a money bite. Y'all, I would like to savor this moment as it has been a while, but it is finally time for a money buyer. The duck skin, the dark pieces of the meat, those noodles and that broth, money buyer approved. And I don't know why it's 2020 and I still got the bad habit of going on noodle tour day with a white shirt. You think I would learn. 
that was interesting that was different than like any other i've had and i'm sure that's why it's famous because it is so different we still got another joint left it's going to be a couple hours so tim and i are going to rest a little bit we will meet you there oh and it was such a hidden place y'all the next place you're going to go that well it wasn't there or at least i couldn't find it so can't have chinatown noodles without wonton noodles we are at a famous street where it lights up at night where the whole street is just aligned with wonton noodle joints so we're going to get in here pick one and dive into some wonton noodles So for y'all don't know, this street right here is like Tim's second home, so he's feeling pretty good right now. You can see it's not even four o'clock yet, but you see a lot of grab drivers just rolling up, getting orders to go, probably getting into people at work that are working late or getting people who are just getting off work. You see a few people lying in and I tell you, when it gets dark here, that's when this street starts to explode. And if we are as so lucky, we may get rained on as well. Be a great ending to the day. It's good, it's good food all day today. I tell you what, that's honestly why we picked here is we knew we could get beer. And you cannot get the wonton noodles here without getting the fried wontons. You look around, every table here is gonna have an order of fried wontons. Come on. big, plump, almost Hong Kong-sized wonton. I'd come here alone for these intensified crunch from that wonton wrapper being fried at high heat, and then just a burst of shrimp flavor from that meat stuffed inside. Tim, I love you, I'm double dipping. That's how you know Tim and I are brothers, he's called me double dipping. Now you see, they're going to take care of us here. We got the prawns, we got the fish balls, we got the pig skin, we got the cuttlefish. But the real winner are these wontons. I mean, this is just a flashback almost to my Hong Kong days. Not quite as massive, but those are some swallowing clouds right there. And if we go deep down under, oh, we got the Yifan noodles with these. Look at that, crinkly, flat noodles. Perfect, since I had a nice little wonton noodle earlier today. Sometimes you just gotta see if your noodles can touch heaven, you know? Pretty close, pretty close to heaven. One of the best flavors all in the world, a little chili oil with some black vinegar here. Hmm. Nice soft doughy. Oh, that's the first chili oil today that has had that big kick of spice that I forgot. That'll hit the back of your throat, ooh wee. I've been needing that. I've been craving that kick of heat all day. You know, the Chinese is fish balls like butter. Oh, back's getting wet. We gotta move. Here comes the rain. This thing is very tight. Can't forget the chili oil. Come on. All right, round two. It actually feels better in here. It spans everywhere. Yo, we got inside. Just in time. Welcome to rainy season in Vietnam. Very good. Black vinegar for the win here. I gotta get more of that. I'm telling you what, you bite in that wonton, it's just a burst of shrimp and a touch of pork flavor. The wonton wrapper, it just silky smooth and slides right down. You almost swallow it a little bit too easily. You know what I'm grateful for the rain? Because it's like Tim said, it is the perfect noodle weather. All right, y'all, always good having Tim coming with us, another foodie, he knows what he's talking about. Seems like he enjoyed the day as well, but that's gonna do it. We got kind of rushed out here with the rain, so I'm about to cover my camera, get that grab, and get back home. I hope y'all enjoyed this noodle adventure. Kind of finished a little strange, but that's what you gotta love about a blog, is you never know what to expect. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next video.